Hello, my dear students. In this class, we are going to discuss all the MCQs from the chapter The Summer of a Beautiful White Horse. This is the story which is written by William Saroyan. So, according to the new pattern of CBSE, we have to focus on MCQs. That is why, from the chapter, I have made extremely important MCQs. I hope. This is going to be very beneficial for you all. So let's start with the class. And let's begin. The story is about two dash boys. Option A, German. Option B, Indian. Option C, Armenian. And option D, Assyrian. So here the right answer is Armenian boys. Because there is no mention of German here. There is no mention of Indian. And the Assyrian, John Bido was an Assyrian, but these two has no resemblance with the chapter. So, the correct answer is option C, that is Armenian. The story is about two Armenian boys. Let's move to question number two. What was the age of Aram and Morad? Option A, 9 and 13. Option B, 10 and 11. Option C, 12 and 13. Option D, 11 and 13. So here, the exact answer is option A, 9 and 13. Next question. During dash phase, the narrator was called by Morad. Option A, morning. Option B, evening. Option C, dawn. And option D, dusk. So it's dawn, which is the right answer because... Dawn is the period before it's morning. Okay, and dusk is the period when we are about to have evening time. So, they had to complete their horse riding before morning. That is why it was dawn period when Morad had come to take his brother along with him or cousin. Next question. What was strange for Aram that morning? Option A. That his brother was on a white horse. Option B. That his brother got hurt. Option C. That his father went to the field for the first time. Next, option D. None of the above. So here, the right answer is option A. That is, his brother was on a beautiful white horse, which was a strange thing for him because they were poor. They could not afford to have a white horse. And if he did not buy it, he must have stolen, which is not the trait of Garibaldian tribe. Therefore, he was in utter dilemma. So, the right answer is option A. Let's shift to the next question. According to the narrator, Morad was dash. Option A, eccentric. Option B, master of his own will. Option C, replica of Khosrov. Option D, all of the above. So here we need to understand what does the word eccentric mean. Eccentric means the person who is not normal, who is a little bit crazy. And replica means duplicate. Okay, identical. So here we find Morad was not a normal person. Then he followed whatever his heart said and he was just a replica of Kostrov because even Kostrov was a weird character in Garoglanian tribe. So, option D is the perfect answer for this question. All the three options are correct. All of the above is the right answer. Okay, let's move to the next question. Both the boys were passionate about Dash. Option A, dogs. Option B, Horse, option C, bird, and option D, Surrey. So the right answer is option B, that is horse. Dogs did not bark when they were keeping this particular horse back to the right owner's barn. And bird is mentioned in the story when Morad tried to nurse a hot robin. Surrey is a cart which is used by John Byro. So, the right answer is option B, that is horse. Okay, 
Next question. Why was Adam hesitant to mount on the horse? Option A. He thought it was a stolen one. Option B. He thought he would not ride well. Option C. He would not get, sorry, he would get hurt. And option D. None of the above. So, the right answer is option A. That it was a stolen horse. He thought that it was a stolen horse. That is why he denied to join Morad for a time being. Next question. To which family did Aram and Morad belong? Option A. Fedbajian. Option B. Assyrian. Option C. Garoglanian. And option D. None of the above. So here the obvious answer is Garoglanian. They belonged to Garoglanian family. Which is known for? Okay. That question's answer we will deal in next uh, question which is uh, here. What was the legacy that Garoglanian tribe maintained? Option A. Honesty. Option B. Being rich. Option C. Being hardworking. And option D. All of the above. So the right answer out here is option A. That is honesty. Garoglanian tribe maintained their legacy of honesty till date. Next question. None of us would take dash of anybody in the world. What should come out here? This is said by somebody, so it should be within bracket. Okay, all right. Your options are option A, horse, option B, board, option C, tobacco, and option D, advantage. So none of the, none of us would take advantage of anybody in the world. So here option D is correct. Next question, Dash stopped Aram to accept his brother's offer. Option A, morality. Option B, his father. Option C, his mother. And option D, none of the above. So the right answer is morality. Morality stopped Aram. He was equally passionate about horse riding, but he thought whether it is stolen or not. If it is stolen, then he should not ride it because even he will be culprit along with his cousin. So, this dilemma which he had in his mind will be had only by a virtuous or moral being. That is why morality is the right answer. Our next question is, there was a pious stillness. What does the word pious mean? Option A, virtuous. Option B, silence. Option C, pure. And option D, none of the above. So here, pious has connection with morality and the word virtuous has the same meaning. Therefore, option A, that is virtuous or moral, is the right answer. Option, sorry, next question. No member of the Garoglanian family could be a dash. Option A, a criminal. Option B, a thief. Option C, rich man. And option D, horse rider. So the right answer is a thief. Criminal is not fit because this is the exact line which I have extracted from the text. So the word should be thief. But had it been explained by somebody else, then the answer would have been either criminal or thief. So right now, it's only thief which will fit out here. Okay, let's move to the next question. Where did you steal this horse? Who is this speaker? Option A, Arak. Option B, Zorab. Option C, Aram. And option D, Morad. So here, the speaker is none other than Aram. Okay, cousin of Morad. Because he was very much inquisitive to know about the beautiful white horse. Next question. It was not a stealing for Aram because option A, they paid for it. Option B, they didn't want to sell it. Option C, they wanted to hide it. Next option is none of the above. So here option B is the right answer. That is, they didn't want to sell it. So according to Aram, it was not a stealing at all. But we know that when we take something from 
the right owner of that item without permission then it is of course a stealing so the answer is option b let's move ahead they lived at dash on dash option a san jacquin valley in london bridge option b california option c edge of the town on walnut avenue next option is none of the above so here option c is correct that is edge of the town they lived at edge of the town on walnut avenue next question how do we know the story is from countryside option a agricultural areas are highlighted option b a lot of vegetables are shown option c a lot of villagers are working in the field option d all of the above so here the answer is option a that is agricultural areas are highlighted morad was considered one of the dash option a best artist and son option b best agriculturist option c craziest members and option d all of the above here the right answer is option c that is craziest members little bit correction required here that is agriculturist please edit it from your end now let's move to the next question dash was their craziest uncle option a khosrov option b zorab option c is john and option d arak so here uncle khosrov is mentioned he was craziest uncle next question an enormous man with a powerful head who is he option a zorab option b khosrov option c william and option d john so here right answer is uncle khosrov we are talking about uncle khosrov who had enormous physique and he had a powerful head as well next question what is san jacquin sorry where is san jacquin valley option a london option b california option c armenia and option d assyria so the right answer is california san jacquin valley is in california next question it is no harm pay no attention to it whose refrain is it refrain means ret repetitive sentence option a khosrov option b zorab option c seroyan and option d john so none other than uncle khosrov was the one who uttered these lines frequently let's move to the next question arak was dash option a son of khosrov son of zorab option c friend of john and option d leader of armenian tribe so here little arak was son of khosrov our next question is why did arak run eight blocks to barber's shop option a to inform the thiefery option b to give money to his father option c to inform about the house that got fire and option d all of the above so here answer c is correct option c is correct that is to inform about the house that got fire so arak had come to his barber's shop where his father was trimming his mustache so he informed about this but there was no change on his father at all let's move to the next question what was the reason behind khosrov's such character or nature option a they were poor now option b they had to migrate option c their motherland was lost uh, so here option d is all of the above and this is the right answer because they were poor now that was true they migrated that as well and motherland uh, they didn't have any identity of their own at all therefore option d is correct that is all of the above next question dash was morad's father option a khosrov option b zorab option c arak and option d william so the right answer is zorab option b okay Zorab was contrast to his son Dash. Option A, Aram. Option B, Morad. Option C, Khosrov. And option D, Arak. 
So Zorab was contrast to his son Morab. Next question. What does capricious mean? Option A. Impulsive. Option B. Unpredictable. Option C. Eccentric. And option D. All of the above. So capricious means who keep on migrating. Who does not have a particular abode. His, be it mind or be it something else. There is no certainty that this is going to happen. This is at this time it is going to be settled or something like that. So capricious means all these three. Therefore, option D is the right answer. Next question is, Dash was the name of the house. Option, sorry, horse. Option A, Vazaya. Option B, Wazir. Option C, Nazir. And option D, Tehzir. So right answer is Vazaya. Vazaya was the name of the beautiful white horse. Next question, the Dash Dash shows Morad had a good rapport with horse. Option A, riding skills. Option B, oratory skills. Option C, adjustment skills. And option D, none of the above. So here, his riding skills shows Morad had a good rapport with horse. So here, option A is the right answer. Next question, whose dash field did the horse damage? Option A, John Byros. Option B, Fedwajians. Option C, Dikrin Halabians. And option D, none of the above. So option C is correct. That is, Dikrin Halabians field was destroyed by the horse when Aram could not ride the horse properly. Aram could not ride the horse well, but still he was dash. Option A, proud that he can ride it easily. Option B, adamant to ride it. Option C, optimistic that he would learn it someday. And option D, none of the above. So option C is the right answer that optimistic nature is highlighted when he says that someday he is going to learn how to ride the horse. Okay, let's move to the next question. How long ago did you steal this horse? Who is the speaker? Option A, Aram's mother. Option B, Morat's mother. Option C, Aram's father. And option D, Morat's cousin. So the right answer is option D, that is Morat's cousin, who was Aram. So Aram is the speaker of this line to his brother Morat. Next question, who is Fedvajian? Fedvajian, option A, is a farmer, option B, a businessman, option C, a shopkeeper, and option D, none of the above. So, Fedvajian is a farmer. Okay, in Armenia, he used to stay and he was a farmer by profession. Next question is, what shows that Aram had become impatient about the horse ride? Option A. He fought with everyone to buy a horse. Option B. He quarreled with the brother, with his brother for the horse. Option C. He wanted to ride alone on the very first day. And option D. None of the above. So option C is right that he wanted to ride alone on the very first day, which was next to impossible because through practice a person becomes perfect. And it was very first day. Adam was riding the horse. So it was not practically possible which he denied. That is why the horse had gone somewhere else. Dash was the owner of the white horse. Option A, Morad. Option B, Zorab. Option B, Fetvajian. And option D, John Bayro. So the right answer is option D, John Bayro. He was the true owner of this beautiful white horse. And he was very much surprised that in that Garuglanian uh, society who had stolen the horse, whereas none of the members of Garuglanian tribe were thief ever. So where did it go? He had utter dilemma. Next question. To dash with Armenian people, John learned Armenian language. Option A. To fight with Armenian people or to communicate with Armenian people or to sing with Armenian people, 
what is the correct answer or is it d none of the above so here the right answer is option b communicate to communicate with armenian people john byro learned armenian language otherwise he was an assyrian remember next question whom did john convey his pain about the horse option a barbo option b john sorry uncle khosrov option c adam's mother and option d all of the above so whom did john convey his pain about the horse option a barbo option b uncle khosrov option c adam's mother and option d all of the above see he was in the parlor and john particularly did not say that with whom he is talking therefore those who were there in the barber shop they are to be considered and in that parlor they were barber uncle khosrov and then adam's mother therefore option d will be the right answer all of the above next question a surrey is a dash option a cart pulled by an animal option b a game option c a vegetable option d a place so here the right answer is option a cart pulled by an animal next question i walked 10 miles to get here who said these lines option a uncle khosrov option b john byro option c adam and option d morad so here the answer is john byro who had to walk more than 50 miles in order to reach here because his because his uh, beautiful white horse was lost which was attached to his surrey let's move ahead let's move to the next question morad was eccentric but an dash dash option a an animal lover option b an animal hater option c an optimistic boy and option d none of the above so here from the story we know that he was an animal lover of course because he had a way with animals he knew how to deal with or how to nurse a herd animal and how to tame a horse and the dog so by this we understand that he was an animal lover next question why do we find morad as a complicated character option a because he stole a horse to fulfill his desire option b he didn't care about others option c he loves his brother but sets a wrong example option d all of the above so it is of course option d that is all of the above because he stole the horse then he didn't care about others reputation not only that he loves his brother but he sets a wrong example he indirectly he is trying to teach immoral lesson to his brother that is why that is why we understand that he was a complicated character let's move to the next question adam wanted to learn horse riding in dash months option a 5 option b 6 option c 7 and option d 8 so here the correct answer is 5 within sorry it's 6 not 5 it's 6 okay within 6 months he said that he will be able to learn how to ride the horse next question how long did the boys enjoy riding the horse option a 1 month option b 3 months option c 8 months and option d 9 sorry none of the above so here the right answer is more than 1 month next question is why was morad confident even after stealing option a he had a way with everyone option b he didn't want to sell for personal e earnings option c he was from garaglanian tribe and option d none of the above he had way with everyone option a is right that is he had a way with everyone be it human being be it animal next question is what was funny about john byro when he encountered the horse with two boys option a he checked its tooth for a tooth option b he tried to find the mark on the horse next question 
both wore funny dress like Bairo. Last option is none of the above. So the right answer out here is that he checked it tooth by tooth. The horse teeth was checked by John Bairo whether it is his own horse or not. Let's move towards the next question. Why was Morad confident even after stealing? Your options are option A. He had a way with everyone. Option B. He didn't want to sell for personal earnings. Option C. He was from Garuglanian tribe. Option D. None of the above. So here the proper answer is option A. That he had a way with everyone. He knew how to deal with dogs. He knew how to deal with people and therefore he was very confident. Next question. What was funny about John Byro when he encountered the horse with two boys? Option A. He checked it tooth for tooth. Option B. He tried to find the mark on the horse. Option C. Both wore funny dress like Byro. Option D. None of the above. So here right answer is option A. That is he checked it tooth for tooth and this was the funny thing that we see. Next question is, John did not consider them as a thief. Why? Option A, they were from Garuglanian tribe. Option B, they looked innocent. Option C, they had no horse with them. Option D, none of the above. So here, option A is the right answer that they belong to Garuglanian tribe. That is why nobody questioned along with John Byro. Next question is, dogs didn't bark at Morad. What does this signify? Option A, that he was an animal lover. Option B, that he had a way with all. Option C, he knew the language of all the animals. Option D, all of the above. So here, right answer is option D, all of the above. It is because Morad knew how to deal with animals. He loved animals. Then he had a way with everyone, be it human being or dogs. And apart from that, he knew language of all the animals because he was talking to that little bird when he was nursing him. Okay, so had he not been kind-hearted, very caring person, then he would not have cured that bird as well. So here we find some good traits of Morad. Let's move to the next question. How did Morad separate from the horse? Your options are option A, kissed him on forehead, option B, hugged him, option C, cried and option D, all of the above. So here, right answer is option A, that he kissed him on the forehead. Last question is, how do we know that Morad had taken care of the horse? Option A, John Byro informed all about this. Option B, the horse was stronger, even this shopkeeper said. Option C, there was no wound, there was no wound on him. Option D, all of the above. So here, so here right answer is option A, John Byro informed all about this. By this we have completed the question answers of this chapter. I hope it is going to be helpful for you all. If you require any kind of help or explanation, do drop me a message. Thank you everyone.